bringing in the sheaves. We'll be drunk on moonshine, singing, bringing in the sheaves. Ladies and gentlemen, our simpleton with the Union Army hat has arrived, and he's showing off his diploma from Canine Obedience School. Thank you, Artie. Thank you very much. He used crayon. Delightful. Not long ago, a young man walked among us. Yeah. His name was Howard Trimming. Ugh, hate that guy. Known affectionately to all of us as Tex. Because he loved latex clothing. He was my son. Well, it came to me in a dream that this city should be dedicated to him and to his name. The dream also featured a singing emu, but never mind that. I give you Texas City, California! My mustache go now. A handsome middle-aged woman. Yeah, it's Chuck. He really needs that mustache. Mom! No, not mom, your brother. I shaved the mustache. Big mistake. You wanna try a few laps? Nope. Too busy growing my mustache back. Well, your big brother, but I want you to watch those guys over at Shelly Foods. Don't trust them because they'll overload the reaper. Quality marijuana is expensive. You know what I'm saying? I hear ya. I want you to weigh the load before you put it on the road, okay? I will. What am I hauling anyway? TV dinners. Yeah! Nice. Come back, Red Dog. How does Dickie Coop look down there? Not too good. State bears and the portable scale. State bears? The government has finally deployed the grizzly super soldiers. Oh my god! I was hauling a barnyard of pigs the other day, and by the time I got home, I'd married three of them. <laughs> Howdy, JD. Hi, Elroy. So the trucking world is basically populated with Gary Larson characters. Oh, no thanks. I just got in. Hello, future boyfriend. Yep, nothing terrifies like a wigless divine accompanied by a guy with a poofy feathered pirate hat. My name's Kaminsky. JD Doss. Jeans enthusiast. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Now, gentlemen, the bank is open. Only people with stupid hats may participate. Let me get your action. Morning, Judge. Doc Hopper's brother, Judge Hopper. Good morning. Justice Court, formerly Mule Bathroom. Whoa, whoa. I don't think he was reaching for his Miranda card down there. Yeah, got his life day robe on. Good. Is her ass okay? I'm very interested. Nobody pushed nobody in good three inches. You're trying to hypnotize me again. That's a lot of crap. Rarely heard he was trying to hypnotize me, excuse for arm wrestling defeat. Bald guy better watch out. This could seriously damage his credibility as an old timey strongman. Oof! Oof! Hypnotized! I was all hypnotizing! Don't ever get me in a situation like that again, Elroy. This isn't a town! It's a racket! Official motto of Las Vegas. She won't get away with this. Order? You drunken son of a bitch! You won't! Order! Yeah, he hypnotized me! The center, beginning right here. Close your eyes. As you're focusing, You'll notice that I've left with your non-refundable deposit. Brighter and brighter. Your total concentration is on the third eye. If your third eye is blind, please go irritate people in 1997. Kind of van that says, ask me about my blacklight poster of Tom Bombadil. My disco ball and stained backseat mattress. That turkey ain't gonna come around here no more. That was the butterball delivery truck, right? <laughs> comic relief. Get your red hot comic relief um, here. I, I, I got your radiator. Oh, very good. <laughs> my, my, my brother Wade can fix it. He can fix anything. Cars, small pets, uh, elections, whatever you need. You like my trike? Very nice. My, my, my brother Wade. He, he gifted it to me for my birthday. <laughs> I had a brother, but I lost him. Weird, because I usually keep him in my junk drawer. Lost? Um, what's wrong? 
The kicky bright neckerchief is a new style trend with Faulknerian idiot man children. My brother Wade, sometimes he, he tells me to get lost somewhere far away in the dark. In the dark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He almost slipped into his Billy Squire fugue state there. <laughs> do you know where my brother is, Arnie? Or do I snap your collarbone um, like a chicken uh, wing? Uh, Tend to business, Arnie. Huh? I said get going! Um, uh, okay. We ain't through with you yet. Well, yes, you are. Powers of denim, activate! Not bad for a guy what's wearing a shirt. Tap the hell out of those Rockies. Hello. Bad news? Yeah, I found out bell bottoms went out of style last Something year. I feel like an idiot. Still wearing bell bottoms? All right, all right, all right. Stop that very quiet murmuring. Are we sure this is a fight scene? goes any further, I fear they're not going to be able to quit one another. Sure, a little prop to spice things up a bit, keep their sex life surprising. <laughs> <laughs> a fitting end to the lamest fight scene ever put to film. Got it now. <laughs> oh, I wish our organization had a budget for something more than sticks. Here, here's my face. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna stick ya. Yeah, your colleague just did that. I, I knocked him out with a board. Ya. Oh, shit! Walker, Texas eavesdropper. Oh, a very solid thud. Must have a catcher's mitt for a scrotum. I'm only certified to wield a stick, but here goes. No! You know, if the only record of our civilization that survives are movies and TV, people of the future will think the 70s was just one long van chase. Mr. Director, we've kind of lost track of the scene. You, you can't tell what's going on. Our actors are choking on dust. Should Keep I... the banjo music playing. Sir, crew members are dying. No one cares. Damn it. The heart and soul of this movie is constantly looping banjo music. Where did you get this? Uncle Arnie brought a whole stack from over yesterday. Don't you trust my cold, hollow eyes? <laughs> it's a battle against oodles of time. Come on, there's more suspense in a rerun of House Hunters. As God is my witness, I will grow a mustache. Hello? Hello? Don't move. What did I just say? Not a hair. <laughs> Daddy's here. David Lynch watched this movie and said, what the hell? <laughs> Come in, Strode. Where the hell are you, Strode? I love Strode. Where the hell is Strode? See, nobody can find him. In this time, Tony knows a hundred places to hide. Just talking on the radio, Judge. What? <laughs> Damn it, Strode! <laughs> Where you been? We got doors down here at the jail. Okay, well, for a bit right there. That is classic Strode. Strode. <laughs> love, him. <sighs> love him. Where the hell is my grandson? I couldn't find him. And I accidentally got dubbed. They got dogs over in the jail. And the movie slowly rolls to a halt. You're an asshole, Strode. You know that. Hey, Strode. Strode! Great scene, let's move on. 
Now, I have examined the case against you, Mr. Dawes, and I find you guilty of murder. I sentence you to death. I miss my total, Jim. I could be getting a really great workout in 30 minutes. I'm Strode. Damn, it's good to be Strode. He died as he lived, with his hand on his forehead for some reason. Your brother, he's in the barn. He fell in love with a chick and nobody wanted to tell him. Captivity changes a man, makes him John Denver. So long, kid. <laughs> Good one! Next time for sure, right? Whoa! Chuck Norris can Hadouken? Oh, thank God your hair is still fabulous. <laughs> nice! Hey, next do that thing where you pretend to go downstairs. Are you okay? What took you so long? <laughs> Huh, kind of creepy. Yeah, that's it, I'm getting the hell out of here. Gross. I'll be right, I'll be right back. Look, I, I know he's glad his brother's alive, but they're giving off a real Lannister sibling vibe right now. What's <laughs> <laughs> with the hook? Didn't he have a gun and a nightstick before? Frank Trucker? Uh, no thanks. I'll have a Bruce Lee style zoom instead. Did he just kick him in the Aflac duck? Whoa, slow mo Santos. What a move. It's like a Mortal Kombat game for kids whose parents don't like them very much. And now it's done. Now, it's all. All over. Yep. Oh, please. No. <laughs> yeah, he's probably talking to somebody else. Some other Dawes. You son of a bitch! What conditioner do you use? I'm ready for a new look! <laughs> But what, what is this all about again? My brother owes you a $250 fine? Here, here, I think I've got that in my wallet. Stay right there. Just a sack. Yeah! Oh, wait, isn't that the same move he used on him before? Yeah, but he didn't get the yeah right the first time. Ah. The yeah is, is quite key. I understand. Oh, horse didn't like it. Better do the whole thing again. Oh. Oh, crap. Now he's going to fight the horse. Hey, buddy, don't forget you got shot in the gut a while ago. Moon's probably full of my manure from all the rolling around you just did. Well, see ya. I'm a horse. What a proud and glorious day this is. We the people who have labored so hard, who have sacrificed so much. Who have made such a meaningless garbage heap of a movie. No momentous goal. The state of California has granted us a city charter. And it's got a great ass. What's the hell? Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, I give you Texas City, California. So the heroic truckers, where'd they go? Well, hopefully all executed for mass murder. Nope, they're back with more CB bolts.